Um, hello, folks. Hello, folks. Come on in. Come on in. Come on in, folks. Morning, Atlas One. Morning, Fezzy Bear. Taste, 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 taste. Taste, 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 taste. One, two, three. One, two, three. Taste, taste, taste. Hello, everybody. Come on in. Come on in. Come on in, folks. Starts at nine. Starts at nine. Officially starts at nine. Officially starts at nine. Come on in, it officially starts at nine. Officially starts at nine, everybody. Hello, Conflict, Girl, Anusia. Chris. Charlie, O'Caroline, M. Lanky. Uh, Big Mari, I think. It's the dark, dark blue on the black. I can't fucking see it. Um, Big Daddy, Squish, uh, G. McAdam, hello. Isaac... Hello, Morrison. Hello, Hoffball. Bent Neck Lady. Hello, Ronnie. We Gaz Galloway. Dr. Bottom Lanky. Um, hello, everybody. Come on in. Hello, James. Hello, 1030. Sorry, no, no government name. Sorry. 1030. Hello, Jules. For Sid in Sydney. Hello there. So there it'll be um, 8 o'clock. Maybe 8 o'clock in Sydney. Thank you. Look at that, everybody. Did you see that? No, that's fucking high quality. That did you see that there? No, that's fucking high quality. No, that's high quality. Jimmy Cadam, that's no seventies. That's eighties, mate. Thank you. Now that's fucking quality. That is quality. Now that is professional. Now that is fucking professional. That is a 300 by 300. Oh, by the way, I forgot to say. Spurious, thank you. Spurious, thank you very much for the sub. And as we are real money. Made prime rubbish, thank you very much. That's, that's his words, by the way. And Chris... Thank you very much for the sub. Um, thank you. Look at that. That is fucking... See, McGuck, thank you very much for the, the tier one resub. Thank you very much. It's a 300 by 300 video. See, before it scaled it up. It had scaled it up or scaled it in. Now I've got it exactly... Using um, Brian McCartan says any jokes? Nah, fuck off, mate. Go and get yourself to fuck. Um, and um, uh, fantastic style sheet stuff. Got it exactly how I wanted it. Got exactly how I wanted it. Very difficult today, everybody. Very difficult. Very difficult today. Thank you. Oh my god. GP McAdams just resubscribed with a tier 3. A tier 3 fucking sub. That's the first and only tier 3. Thank you so, so much. Tier 3 subs. Just That's it. That's it. Thank you very much, mate, for the fucking tier 3 sub. Um, Thank you very much, GP McAdam. That's unbelievable. 
Troops, that's it. I can now carry on with the, the Modern Motivator. That's me firmly... Yes, man, what does it get me? It gets you a couple of extra emojis or uh, emotes, but I've actually got about another 10 spaces just for the normal uh, subscribers. So there's actually nothing extra. Um, I, you know what I can do? You know, you know what I can do? Um, I can do this. Um, uh, Gives a wee second. Uh, uh, Gives just a wee second. I'm going to go on with the morning motivator because show off these emotes. Please not lanky. If you were listening, mate. I'm sorry, sorry to get it, you lanky. But if you were listening, lanky, I'm saying I haven't got any new extra emotes for the higher tiers. It's just what it is. Now, where's this fucking VIP thing? Um, it just gives a wee second. I'm, I'm very, very sorry about this. Uh, manage roles. Uh, add new... Uh, uh, all roles. Uh, VIP. Uh, add new... Uh, VIP. Okay. I, I'm so sorry about this. Uh, uh, um, GP McAdam, if you want to type something. GP McAdam, if you want to type something. Oh, fuck it. Thank you so much. Pixel thank 80, you. thank you very much. Thank you very much. Oh, this is courtesy of a pixel rated. Thank you. Rory, thank you so much for the sub. Look, thanks for the sub. Hectic Matt. Thanks thank for the you. sub. Skepsis O oh, O. Oh. Thank you. Thanks for the sub. And finally, thank you. That is a professional alert, and I did it all by myself. That is a professional looking fucking alert, and I did it myself. I did it myself. I did the video myself. I did the fucking the the, the, the style sheet. I did the fucking uh, the style sheet. Did the whole thing, the HTML, working it all out. Breaking this whole fucking thing apart, try to work out, because it's all hidden away. They don't just go like, here's a style sheet, tweak it how, how you want. It's all hidden away. You've got to look in a file, to look in another one, to look in another one. Um, Pixel80, thank you very much for that. Wattish, thanks for the sub. Right. Now let's go on with the morning motivator. Nine till quarter past nine. Um, did you know that the day is... International Men's Day. And I think it started as a joke, did it not? I think it was International Women's Day. And then, was it no uh, Richard Herring that came up with the idea of International Men's Day and said this was the date? Making a joke about it. Is that right? Is that right? Anyway, now it's turned into an actual thing. So I'm not really sure. Started as a wind up and now it's turned into some sort of mental health thing. Now it's turned into some sort of mental health thing. Uh, everybody look at G GP McAdam there. He has got a VIP diamond. He's got a VIP diamond. Other than that, I don't think there's any benefit to having the VIP thing. It's just a recognition. That's all. Um, right, everybody. So, um, so there's a lot, a lot of talk about mental health stuff. Um, a lot of talk about mental health stuff. Now, like, speaking about mental health, did you know that I've been up since um, half past twelve? I've been awake since half past midnight. I was sleeping all fucking day yesterday. I've, my sleeping pattern's a wee bit 
fucked up in a mall early place. Um, fell asleep during the day yesterday. Then fell asleep kind of late, later on. And Lynn's like that to me, are you depressed? And I went, I don't think I'm, actually. I mean, generally, I mean, I don't tell her the, the, the whole truth, which is I don't actually really like anything, right? But uh, I don't even think that's depression. I just don't think that's depression, that that thing that I'm talking about. I just don't really fucking like it. I'm not, I'm not for it. I'm up for this. Playing games? Aye. Coming on here and talking to you? Aye. I'm into that. I've got all the energy in the world for this. I've got all the interest in the world for this. But, um... Your general fucking stuff gone to, gone to a thing, no interested at all. Gone on holiday, no interested at all. Gone to a thing, gone to a party, gone to a, go to a concert. Eating a meal, is that a nice meal? No interested. A lie, a lying go, this is good. Aye, this is good. Mm -hmm. I like this. Mm -hmm. This is good. This is good. A lie. Thank you. Nozman, thank you very much for the sub. I lie like fuck. Um, how do we know you're only lying to us, Spurious? Because I'm telling you, I'm telling you right now, I fucking I really, I'm right. This is all I want to fucking do. I get to talk like fuck. I get to talk like fuck. It's fucking magic. This is all. This is what I want to do. Life is boring without drink. You're fucking telling me. You're telling me, mate. Um, right, so people have been talking about mental health stuff. And uh, they're wanking a lot, yep. Yeah. Um, right, so mental health wise, there's people on Twitter talking about mental health stuff and um, suicide and men, uh, three quarters of suicides on uh, men or something like that, right? Know that that's know that men are more important than women. Know that just it's just a statistic, um, and this is just a wee day. I just want to speak to the men, right? Now, and, and the women, if you want to join in, but especially the men, <clears throat> the men. You ain't feel online. We've lost Charlie. The men, uh, the the men are rugged. Uh, rugged, more rugged the 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 genders, the more rugged. So uh, just want to talk to the men here about uh, here on international men's day about men, men uh, about uh, mental health. Just get yourself, just get yourself checked out. Just get yourself checked out, boys. I've been trying to think how, like you get, you, you see people on Twitter saying, um, talking about men, mental health, or they need for all this sort of man up stuff and all that. Well, just in case you think I'm taking the piss, um, in case you don't know, thank you. The Purple Chair, thank you very much for the sub. Um, I have been suicidal my whole life. Um, I've been suicidal pretty much my whole life, and uh, and in fact, I should put the wee fade on for this. I should put the wee fade on and make it three second fade. Um. I mean, I, I was suicidal. I've been suicidal for years. Um, I'm suicidal for years. Thank you. Thank you very much, Lanky. For the sub. Um... Right, so, are you okay? I right now, I'm alright. I'm alright. I would say, 
here's, and I'm just going to talk about myself, and by talking about myself, uh, one of my favourite things today, talk about myself and then, I don't know, maybe um, if there's any of you uh, men or women or anything else, that, um, Thank you. Thinking of getting... Uh, what's that? Oh, thank you. I, I missed that there. What did I? Aidan's Fable, thank you very much for the sub. I missed it. Um, kind of my teenage years, slash my wrist when I was 15... Um, when I run about when I started drinking, emotionally like immature, kind of wee bit like that for ages. Um, right into my twenties, when I was drinking, uh, the 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 last the hang the last hangover I had, which is two thousand and four, was ready to top myself. Um, that's I've st stopped drinking since. That was two thousand and four. I've no drank since. Um, suicidal for years thinking about it for years thinking about it all the time no absolutely all the time while I'm having a laugh and everything that's fine but um, just always thinking <sighs> it'd be no ne bother to talk myself no bother no bother this is shite this is fucking precious this is shite work relationship stuff work stuff you know that, just get it what the fuck. Just just always thinking I wouldn't mind if I just fucking went under a bus. You know, cycling. Be good if I just came off this bike and fucking got my head fucking um crunched under a fucking bus, that'd be alright. Because I'm the type of cunt that like what's what's the fucking you know, see, unless you're fucking doing something. Ah, it's just, it's just fucking shit. You know, was it, a, was it a buzz? Don't know what it is. But anyway, I was like that for ages. Then I stopped drinking in 2004. And, and that kind of really helped us. But then, about 2013. Around uh, about 2013, things got really, really bad. Just had a... My son was two. I was nearly really coping well with being a dad. Uh, even though Lynn was doing everything. I, I was doing like fuck all. Just uh, just some people don't fucking cope with it. Uh, just some things I... You know, I, I like my games and my fanning about too much. It was just it was just winding me up. Everything was winding me up. Everything was getting me stressed out. I was getting stressed out to the point... Uh, like tiredness and just um, uh, like kind of um, I, I remember I remember this like uh, and I write this I write this is in my autobiography which you can buy and please buy tickets to my tour but um, I remember when my son was two when I got really so bad that I, I thought right I need to do something about this now because I'd never been to the doctor for depression, anxiety, any mental health uh, stuff. Never been to the doctor for anything like that. I always just thought to myself, I'm too fucking complicated and uh, to get to be worked to. In a way, I still fucking think that, right? I just think people are, are stupid fucking idiots. And I almost can't imagine myself going to some sort of psychiatrist or psychologist and then got, being able to go with that. Oh, I've identified what the problem is, because who fucking knows? Who knows? I don't think I'm think you're above mental illness. No forbidden. I'm not saying I think I'm above mental illness. Definitely mental ill. Definitely prone to men, men, mental illness. But sometimes think I'm um, beyond. I think the the mind is beyond our understanding at this point. I don't think... I, I, the way I think is... And this is just my fucking opinion. I think you can walk in as people... I've read things about certain conditions and certain disorders and all that. And you read it 
and you go, oh, that's fucking interesting. That. You know when you read something and, and it describes maybe some sort of disorder or some sort of condition and you can see yourself being described in that thing and it's a comforting feeling to know it's not just you that you, you, you can kind of see something. doesn't matter what it is. It could be alcoholism. It could be depression, anxiety. It, it could be some like ADHD or one of these other kind of disorders and you go, wait a minute. That's me. And that can be really, really helpful. I've just got maybe this sort of, uh, I see my guts like that, have to go by for now. You see, that's just typical of women uh, here on international, because uh, she's a woman. Uh, typical an international men's day when a man is, is, is talking about uh, his struggles with, uh, with mental health. Uh, it's just typical of a woman to hijack this day by her by making her absence uh, no, uh, 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 noted. She's checked out. She bloody will be checking out if I get my hands on her. You know, it's just typical. I think today's the day where we're permitted to just tell women, you know, Tell it like it is. And, you know, sometimes you're, uh, you ladies are right pain in the arse. A right pain in the ass. No, but a joke on the side. Where was I? Uh, oh, she's oh, she's still there. Right, bye. See you later on the gut. She's a mod. Can you believe that? That's one of my mods. Can you believe one of my mods... Decided when I was right in the fucking middle of that there. Right in the middle of that there. She decides to go like, ah, sorry. Sorry to interrupt. I'm away. Sorry, I know you're talking about yourself. Thank you. Neil Freudian, thanks for the sub. My gut like that. I'm away, everybody. Everybody, important news. Let me just, I've got you back. I'll let you finish. I'ma let you finish. I'm away. I'm away. I'm away. <coughs> See me got glass. <coughs> uh, I'm just to let you know I'm away. I could just slip out the door, but I just thought I'd go like <coughs> I'm away. I hope she comes to one of my live shows. I hope she comes to one of my uh, in my book tour, um, and I hope that if she's the same, she maybe needs to go and get the train. She's not got the time. Instead of stoning up and just walking out, <coughs> that's me away. That's me away. Don't let me. Don't let me stop you. Don't let me disturb you. That's me away. Thank. You. Cheers. Thank you. DJ Boy, look at the quality of that fucking uh, alert there. Really, really good. I'm very happy with that. Uh, that pink colour, you know, the name that comes up, that, that exact pink colour was just an accident. It was, it was red, and then I just sort of guessed a wee uh, uh, hex um, colour thing. Um, I just went like, I'll make it a wee bit more pink, and add a wee bit of that, and it just came out of that. I thought, that's perfect pink, perfect, perfect. Perfect pink. Right, so where was I? Um, uh, I, I remember um, I'd read about the, uh, like depression and people being like lying on, people lying on their couches for fucking, uh, not being able to get after it. Thank you. Psylock or Skylock, thank you very much for the sub. Uh, um, share the hex code. I'll get. I'll get that in a wee minute. I'll get the hex code for the the pink writing after the the, the suicidal talk. Um, wait, what the fuck was I saying? I, I these people who are actually like on the fucking couch or kind of get out of bed, they actually feel physically fucking weak with depression, and. I couldn't picture it, I couldn't imagine ever being like that. I can imagine being done, but never like that. But I got like that. It, it, it was all getting to me. 
And it was all fucking getting to me. Waking up in the fucking morning. Like this. <sighs> and then just... Like that. I remember... We had, we had to do the house up. Stripping the wallpaper and all these other wee things, right? And I was fucking incompetent. And the whole fucking thing was getting to me. And our son. To... And I remember Lynn said, go and saw that tree down outside. There was like a wee bush sort of thing. I remember sawing it, right? And I had no fucking strength in my arms. I don't mean I was doing it for an hour so I was getting a bit tired. I mean I was like this. Just limp. Pure fucking limp. You know, like, packing in. Just fucking whole, just all packing in. Um, like a fucking breakdown and a physical actual physical fucking strength wise left my, my brain was just going like that gee up and I, I was actually fucking just actual actually like no strength just like I don't mean tired because I'd been working hard fucking sawing it, it was a I'd never felt it before and I was, uh, and I've know I've, I know I've spoke about this before on the webcam and we interview things or Twitter or whatever, but I remember this at one point going into this cupboard, this sort of it's like, it's like a toilet, kind of toilet we're getting rid of, and went into this cupboard and I shut the door. It's all dark inside, and I was greeting, and I never greet. I don't greet for fucking anything. If if I'm going to greet for something, it's for me, really. I never actually greet because I, I greet if something's kind of I get that kind of emotional vibe. Something's really nice, lump in my throat type thing. But I never actually fucking greet because um, something sad has happened. I, I'm I'm just not that type of person. And stuff happens to me and that I don't really greet if I get hurt. I don't really greet. But this I was fucking greeting because I thought I, I'm I'm fucking I can't dare say I'm talking myself one way or another. I'm, uh, and I was just thinking how I'm going to write it down in a fucking letter for my son who was two at the time because I was looking at a picture of him as a baby he was still like just a toddler but looking at a picture of him as a baby and I thought he's going to grow up and he's going to know that I looked at these pictures and, and I looked at him and it wasn't enough he's greeting greetings um, uh, Scottish for crying or Glaswegian for crying I don't know I know there's a greeting like a greeting card and, and greeting someone but greeting, um, just like like crying. I was greeting my eyes out. I was greeting my eyes out. I was like fucking greeting in this uh, cupboard. Um, and because I was thinking, he's going to know it wasn't enough. And he's going he's gonna to think about that as he gets older. And he's going to uh, think, I oh, wasn't enough. He's going to think about himself. That he wasn't enough. Looking at him as a wee toddler, lovely wee toddler, lovely wee boy, wasn't enough. Wasn't enough to stop me. I taught myself, slash my wrist or whatever. It wasn't enough. And he'll think about that. And and I thought, and it, it just wasn't enough to fucking stop me. I was just like thinking, I fucking got it because I can't do this anymore. I just can't. I can't think my way out of it. I can't think my way out of it. I don't know what, what what the alternative is to this fucking life. I don't know what... And that's a cunt that's doing alright for himself. I'm a cunt that's been on the fucking telly and doing alright. I'm no fucking skint. Um, I've not got all these other like big fucking big things to worry about. That, that, I'm... You know, it would probably be fucking worse if you're that and you're, you've got bad health or you're, you're absolutely fucking skint and all the rest of it. I'm some cunt who's been on the, the, the fucking telly and and all that and, and I was like that and because I've always been like that in a way doesn't matter telly I know I'm always fucking going to be like that so I just went like that I, I had I've got a pal I've got a pal um, whose husband was taking antidepressants and I just want to say right now, I'm not advocating antidepressants. I'm not selling them to you or anything like that. I'm just saying what this is what happened, right? Antidepressants can be bad for some people. They can also save some people's lives. Some people think they don't even work. And they're placebos. And they're actually all fucking made up. 
and some people think there are ways to con- control your mind and you should stick like fucking tinfoil on your head and all that and um, right and you know like all that they're very dangerous and coming after them Ian Lee is trying to come off antidepressants right now and he's having, he's having a hell of a time there's all of that right right so I'm just talking about me just talking about me no you no him or her no you me what I did and what I thought and what happened with me. That's all. No you. I'm not saying it's going to happen with you. I'm not saying if you do what I do, then it'll all be fine if, if you're actually in need of help. I'm just talking about me, that's all. Is that all right? God's sake. Nobody's actually said that in the chat. I'm just... I, I, that's, that's what happens on Twitter if you talk about stuff like this. Big Pharma. I get it. I get it. But anyway, I had a pal, I've got a pal whose husband was on uh, an antidepressant called citalopram and she was telling me about him and the experience and all that and I'd, I'd, I already knew the guy, right? But I'd seen him at a party just a few weeks before and he was chatting away and he was all upbeat. Thank you. Thank you very much. Cam say, Daddy, cheers for the sub. Um, and she, because I was telling her about I'm fucking getting all done and all that, and she said, oh, he's been, he's been taking this and he just completely changed and he's so much better and all the rest of it. And I said, so well, he was on it, he was on it the other night. He was on it the other night. Aye, aye, he's been on it. Right, because I thought, oh, he'd be like a fucking zombie. You know, like flatlining. You don't get done, but you don't get up either. You just like that. That's what I thought. Um, by the way, I'm only talking about my. I, I'm going to say it one last fuck, one last fucking time. I'm no saying that. Oh, I you should take them. They can be bad for people. They've got side effects. Coming after them can be a nightmare. They can make you worse. There's all of that shit, right? But. I didn't fucking care. I just, um, I went to the doctor, right, so she said that, right, and I was picturing her, I was like, fucking hell, right, right. Right, and then see after that whole greeting episode and going, right, that's it, I'm like, just something hit me. Same sort of feeling that hit me when I stopped drinking. I just thought, you're on the fucking verge of dying. You're on the verge of fucking dying. This is it. You need to fucking do something. You're the verge of fucking topping yourself. You're no fucking about anymore. You're gonna do it. You're gonna do it. Fuck me. You can hardly move a muscle. You're you're greeting your eyes out and you never fucking greet. This is got this fucking happening. This is happening. Soon you're gonna be hanging for a fucking tree, or you're gonna be like you're you're gonna slash your fucking wrist, which would be my preferred option really. Something about hanging. I don't like it. I'd slash my. I'd done it before. Slash my wrist when I was. 15. I just go like, I just fucking rip it open. Yeah, fuck man. Fuck it. Just like that. Straight up the fucking, like that, man. The fucking blood come out. At least you got a chance of changing your mind, sort of. Got a chance of going like, oh no, fuck. Ah. Um, I'm sorry, God. I'm sorry. Like that. Hang yourself, that's it. Um,. Mind you, when I was thinking I taught myself when I stopped drinking, I mean the hangover, my last hangover, I was going to jump in the Clyde, and I wasn't going to just jump in the Clyde uh, for the Erskine Bridge and hope that that like some sort of Golden Gate, uh, San Francisco sort of way, if I hit the water it'll break all my bones and maybe knock me out and then I'll fucking drown. I mean I was just going to jump in like for this wee fucking bridge, like just, just like kind of cold water and drown. No broken anything. A horrible, I wanted to die in almost a horrible fucking way. Um, so that thing, so that thing about changing my mind, being able to change my mind, I thought, if I go in the Clyde, I'm not going to be able to change my mind because it'll be fucking freezing and I'll have a fucking heart attack. Um, anyway, that was a... Um, 
Aye, so just about like that. Right, you, you need to actually do something about this now. I asked my pal, and she said her husband went to the doctors, explained things, and that was it. So I booked an appointment for the doctor, and and I went in, and I was actually quite nervous. See, see, talking about all this, see, being all kind of open about all this. I, I'm, I'm like that. This is no bother. I don't give a fuck about talking to you like this. People I know. Neighbours that I've only just met. New people. Anybody. I don't I don't care. Right? I don't care. I've always been like that. But there was something about going into the doctors that I was quite nervous about. Because you're not just going in and going like that. The reason why I'm maybe telling you this is because maybe there's something up with you. Um, you think, how do you go about it? How do you go about maybe sorting yourself out? What do I say? Kind of like my sketch, you know, you know, uh, going in for a haircut. That, no, that's fuck all that. Um, what do you say? Because you kind of just go like that. Do you talk to your son about it? Aye, I've told him about it. Um... Don't I don't like talking to my son too much about it because I don't want to put it into his head how fucking sad a person can get um, that much, but he's quite happy, so he does he does it he's he's all right. Um, cause I thought what what like you kind of just when you go into a, a doctor, go to a doctor like you could say something about your mental health and see because it's such a fucking mystery and see because. It's hard to tell. If I said to you, oh, I'm feeling really down, what do I mean by that exactly? How much am I doing on a scale of 1 to 10? How do you tell? You just don't know. The brain's so complicated. And just as the doctor kind of really worked me out, um, I, I, and it's, because I know the doctor kind of worked me out, I, I'm, imagining him, I'm imagining him doubting me. I'm imagining the doctor no quite, like, like doubting me. I can imagine them doubting me. And that sort of feeling. And you're making yourself self sort of vulnerable. There's a... See if, you're, see if you're going to a doctor and you're going like that. Oh, I've got, I've got this here. I've got that there. It's sort of outside you. It's outside your personality. It's outside who you are. Even something embarrassing like there's something wrong with your ass. There's something wrong with your asshole. And he has to has have a put, has to put a finger up your ass, right? It's a bit maybe a bit embarrassing, but it's still quite kind of like outside. It's outside your personality. It's part of your part of your body. It's out of there. Whereas going to a doctor and going like that, um, and I thought, what am I going to say? Go on and go say, um, I've been feeling I've been feeling quite uh, done uh, recently. I've been feeling uh, a wee bit mentally unwell. Uh, kind of suicidal and I'll just leave it at that and see what he says and that's what I did and everything was fine but when you're, you're going like that it's a feeling because uh, it's a serious sort of fucking atmosphere in a doctor's place it's a feeling it's almost like a fucking embarrassing a heat in my face no completely like pure oh I'm pure embarrassed but you're talking about the, you know he's looking you know he's looking at you so he's look, kind of looking at your personality you know, just checking out your, your, your a broken a broken finger. It's about the, the, the fucking you. It's about you. And so you're sitting there with a fucking beamer. That's right, a fucking face, bright red, with this bass sweat dripping down you, man. You're humiliated, man. Humiliated, and you're in front of the doctor like that. I can't take it anymore, doctor. I can't take it. I'm one of the cunts that can't cope. I can't, I can't take it anymore. I'm freaking out, by the way. You better fucking help me. Or I'll be helping myself to you. That doesn't make any sense. But, um, it's a, a wee bit embarrassing, but it, was, it, it really, honestly, I felt quite nervous. And I don't get, I don't really get like that. And, but I just said what I said. I said, um, 
feeling a wee bit kind of uh, feeling quite down, uh, suicidal and things like that. And uh, you know, just thought I'd come and see what can get done about it. And uh, he spoke to us quite nice about it all, and he said, uh, um, he said this thing. He said this thing about, um, what's that thing about the 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 the, the night is darkest before just before dawn or something like that, right? I don't know. But he said that, which was kind of strange because. It was a it's some sort of um, inspirational fucking quote sort of thing, and he isn't that sort of a doctor. You know, I'd, I'd been in for like bits and pieces, wee things here, like like being to the doctors, and he came out with that, and I was like, that's fucking strange. But I didn't say that to him, so I was like, all right, not scientific. I was like, right, and he said, um, well, what I can do is I can put you on a mental health, refer you to a mental health person, and also prescribe you antidepressants. I was like, right. And he wrote down two. In fact, I might have went for that first. I can't remember the order of things, but he wrote down basically Prozac, which is called Floxetine now. And Citalopram. And see, in a way, I didn't like that he was just like that. He was just ready to game them. He was ready to game me them before sending me off to a mental health person. He doesn't know what I'm fucking like. He doesn't know how I'm going to react to these pills. And that's the thing with fucking medicine. The medicine world. Me medical science. It's like, oh, fucking guess what? Nobody knows what they're fucking doing. Like, you get cunts in over the day like, operations and things like that, but nobody knows. But, um... But I went like that, right, fuck it. And um, I got uh, Zitalopram and like, went round with a prescription, which is free in Scotland. Because of, uh, of SNP and all that. Free of charge. And I went round and I got uh, I got them and it said if you take them, uh, it takes about three weeks or something to really get start, really start working and then it said, you actually feel worse. That's what I heard a lot of it. You actually feel worse first, and then you sort of get better. Well, I took them. I got up the road, took it at night, went to sleep. The next day, and I mean the very next fucking morning, having, I had been waking up for weeks and months like this, <sighs> making that sound every fucking morning. <sighs> I'm, not, I'm not joking. I didn't expect these to work for weeks, right? So you might be going, oh, it's a placebo effect. You you thought they would be working right away, so they did. I wasn't expecting a fucking thing. The next morning, I woke up and this is a, you know, there's people who take this pill and they get worse right away and they don't get better, right? I'm just talking about me, just talking about me. I woke up the next day like this. felt fucking good. I felt good. I woke up and felt good for the first time in fucking years. I felt good and this is this is the these these pills, the way they work, SSRIs, selective serotonin, reuptake and hibber. I think the way it works is uh happiness is one of the, the ways you get it. I think it's serotonin, and I think it releases it for one thing. And it sort of hovers about this other thing, and then it goes into this other thing, you know, to get taken away. I think what happens is the serotonin gets released as usual, 
and it sort of hovers about and instead of getting taken away right away it, it, it doesn't get taken away it sort of hangs about I don't know what it is but I was like I was saying I was saying to Lynn I think I'm fucking feeling good already I think I'm fucking feeling it's not it said it'd be like a month maybe it's I was thinking what I just felt fucking good. I felt I felt good. Is this guy a doctor? No, I'm just some fucking guy, Finn. Talking about myself. I just felt good. Um. I don't. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know how it all works. I don't know. I'm just talking about what happened with me, right? Just talking about me. That's it. That's all. That's all I'm saying, right? That's all I'm talking about. Just me. Um, continue, right? right I'll, try and, I'll try and shut up about this by 10 o'clock, right? Um, I'll try and tell this dead quickly, right? Um, I, I felt good right away. And I just kept on feeling fucking better every day. I felt I didn't feel fucking bad anymore. I didn't feel fucking bad anymore. I didn't. I didn't feel like this anymore. Look. You know, just a kind of. I didn't feel like that anymore. I felt like this. I was full apart. I've always have been full apart, but uh, you know, I was kind of happy. I was coming up with stuff, Mayor. I was wanting to go places. Thank you. Coco the Clown, thanks for the sub. I was wanting to go places. I was interested in things again. Side effects were... Side effects were falling asleep during the daytime. Dead easy to fall asleep, just like that. Quite sleepy. Red face. Mouth getting a bit dry. Um, this is in the book, this bit. See if I had a wank. It takes ages to come, by the way. So, let's say, on average, a wank would take me five minutes. This is in the book, this. The autobiography, uh, surprisingly, not earth and very funny, which is at the end of February. I timed a wank way my phone. I set the timer, and I had like a kind of, like a fury wank. You know, as fast as I could go. 18 minutes. It took me 18 minutes. And that was me gone for it. That was me taking no breaks. That was me gone for it. 18 minutes. Like, um... <laughs> the sweat lashing off me. No, um, so there's that, and uh, short term memory. My mate, my, uh, I wouldn't be able to remember certain things, which was good in a way. With certain, uh, I, I would stutter sometimes, slur quite a bit of day that anyway. Stutter sometimes. Um, short term memory would go. I would like remembering numbers. Like imagine I'm reading a number to type into something, rather than doing it like three numbers at a time. Three, two, six, three, two, six, five, nine, two. I don't want to be able to almost remember like two numbers at a time, or just even one, one, see, five, like that. Which is good in a way because it, one of my problems is, it's almost like an OCD kind of thing where 
once something gets into my head, either something I'm trying to work out, something that annoyed me, especially something that annoyed me, things like that, it goes round and round my head and it doesn't fucking go. Thank you very, very much, Finn. Thank you very, very much for the uh, the bits, the cheer. I've not sorted out the cheer thing yet. You know, I've got the be fancy thing for subscribe. I've not done the, the cheer yet. Um, but see that fucking drug? It's There's people who it doesn't work for and it makes them worse and all the rest of it. And even with me, that it did work with the side effects. But that fucking drug worked a treat for me. Lynn pure fucking noticed it. I was into going to things and doing things and would go to like a fucking, um, a soft play which would be one of the most unbearably fucking boring places. Ugh. And I'd be, you know, I'd be happy to go and be sitting there. I'd be generally kind of happy. Generally in a good mood and a good frame of mind. Um no matter where I went, no matter what I did. It was amazing. It was amazing. I'd be in a shiver, in a good mood, getting up in a, a good mood, uh, the pictures in a good mood. One thing I always remember is sitting in the GFT, the pictures up, up at, uh, in Glasgow, and um, I was sitting there watching the fucking adverts. Know the trailers for the films, but the adverts, you know, something for like, um, just advert, you know, for fucking products. And I remember sitting there like that, just happy to be there. And I know you can say you're no really meant to be sitting there all happy, smiling with fucking adverts, but the fact is, I was fucking happy. Brilliant. And I was just like that to myself, think to myself, look at how happy you're, look how much you're letting all these wee things go that used to annoy you, look how happy you're, look at how you can get by just being happy. Before, I wouldn't be happy unless I was making stuff and doing stuff and thinking about stuff and working stuff out and I wouldn't even really be happy at that anyway. It's a way, it's a way to fill my time, to fill the void of unhappiness making things and all that. And some people said the antidepressants no um make you into a zombie like Atlas one there saying antidepressants made me into a total zombie. Did it not make you into a zombie? Did it no stifle your creativity and all that? You know like was it that kind of pain or feeling it oh the boredom oh I need to make something because I'm so bored. But that's when I did all my vines. You know, all my vines. Um, the plasterer and... Um, the plasterer, Frosty Jacks, fucking all of them. Pretty much all of them were made during that whole time of fucking Citalopram. Like, you know, if you see some of the vines, you'll see my face being all kind of red and everything. And that was on Citalopram, so it's not like I was like, I'm happy, why, why should I go and make stuff? I'm happy just being here. So, um, so that didn't get in the way of that. Anyway, they started to no work here and there. Like for a few weeks at a time, no work. I get cold like symptoms, sore head, things like that. And it would um, get these sort of big dips that lasted for like three weeks. Lynn would be like that. I'd notice I'd start kind of having these sort of fucking bickering kind of arguments with, with Lynn. Like she would say something that I wouldn't agree with or something. I'm like, well, I, 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 no, I didn't, I didn't say that. I, you know, I wouldn't let wee things go. Like wee things that I'd be like, I'd be like you know, nothing. Almost pedantic sort of thing, things. That before I wouldn't give a fuck about, I'd, I'd just laugh off. Notice I'd start to get all kind of a bit wound up with things and all that and why am I why am I fucking being like that? Man, the pills on the bottom. The pills on the bottom. And then they started to work again. 
and that was it. But that happened a few times. That happened a few times. And then I had been meditating at night to try and help me get to sleep. And then, see, during these times that it wasn't working, like for three weeks at a time, I started meditating to try and kind of, like, take control of my mind and, and try and feel good and all that and, and no think about annoying things and all that. And that really helped. And then, so see, eventually, um, eventually, glad to hear it, Atlas one. Eventually, um, I, d I just decided I'm going to come after them. I'm going to come after them. I, I remember saying to myself at one point, I'm never coming after these fucking pills. I love them. But I thought, right, something's gone wrong with them. I don't know what it is. Maybe my body's getting used to them. I don't know what it is. But I think I'm ready to stop now. I think right, it's done its job, which was for me to just sort of get my head together to try and work some things out and I had managed to work out right the most important thing in your life is being happy that's the most important thing everything else has to take second place to that unless it's some sort of a bit of work that I don't want to do but that will then lead to happiness maybe some money that will then lead to a bit of security so I don't have to worry about fucking no paying a mortgage or something like that right but you being happy, that's the most important thing. Everything else can go. Making things or anything like that, that's it. You being happy, let things fucking go. We arguments, grudges, things that you see when you're out in the boot, things that have annoyed you, we arguments in Twitter that you get any, let all that go. Let it all go. I mean, who are they? Who is that person? Who's that person? Why are you getting into these arguments? What does it matter? What does it matter? Starting to get all kind of a bit philosophical about it and thinking people and the things that we do we're almost like fucking uh, the, the reasons or reasons for doing the things that we do and the reasons for maybe annoying things that people do or the mistakes they make we're almost just like fucking just, just physical this is going to talk it's going to sound a lot of shit, right? But just we're just obeying the laws of physics, the things that we do in the mind. You do the things you do because something has caused it to happen in your brain. And really, you arguing with somebody on Twitter or getting into some sort of wee thing that, oh, somebody's nearly hit you with a motor when you're out in the bike. You may as well be arguing with fucking rocks tumbling down the side of a fucking hill, nearly hitting you off your bike. No response, they're... they're you can hardly fucking... Sorry, somebody's been stabbed. They're, they're barely fucking responsible. Barely responsible. Unless you think you can... By speaking to this person, you can change their ways and you will then help to uh, help like 10 other people. So let's say I was out in the bike and somebody opened their door, the parked motor nearly hit me. Let's say I was to turn around and go like, oh, for fuck's sake, mate. Well, you nearly hit us. Is that attitude really going to change that person's mind? Probably no. Probably just think I'm a fucking arsehole. But if I could be ab absolutely sure when they open the door and they see that they've nearly hit me, that if I go like that, or you nearly hit me, then I can guarantee that that person will then stop that. And I'm saving fucking lives, then I would do it, but I don't think so. I think as long as they fucking see me, they've seen me, they knew that they nearly hit me, they'll go, oh, I nearly hit that guy, and then they'll maybe, maybe remember it. That's as best as you can, you can get, but I was just thinking in a selfie sort of way. I just want to look after myself. I don't want to be angry anymore. I don't want, I don't want to be sad anymore. I don't want to have things gone ruining and ruining my mind that fucking get me down or annoy me. I don't want that anymore. I just want to be fucking happy. I don't want any of that anymore. I remember, I remember, do you know Muriel Gray? I remember chatting with her on um, Twitter and I said how, see these days, 
Um, I just don't. I just don't get involved, even for my own fucking safety. I remember saying something like, "Oh, a bus nearly hit me." The way the bus driver was driving, he nearly banged into me, and I just let it go. You know, there's no point. He nearly hit me. Big deal. He knew he nearly hit me. He could see that he nearly hit me. I, I just, you know, left it. There's no point in me going like that. You nearly hit me. And there's no point in me going like that. For fuck's sake, mate, you nearly hit us. There's no point. I would rather just let it go. And she said to me, when I said that on Twitter, she says, um, I just think they're taking the easy option. Can you, can you fucking believe it? I said it to her at the time. I think I was like, oh, for fuck's sake. But, you know, like, as if, um, it's almost like being selfish. By no, being angry, by no, not a light mural grey and everything, but by no getting angry or by no, like, uh, like taking responsibility and maybe changing somebody's mind or something like that. And I, and I was just like, I don't fucking care. Because if I don't do that, I'm going to end up, it's almost like drinking. If I don't, if I don't do that, I'm going to end up fucking dead. That's almost what it feels like. I just want to be happy. That's all I fucking want. That's all I want. Look at me like that, pure serious like this. All I want to do is be happy. That's all I want. Um, and meditating really helped. Meditating, I was talking about that the other night. Meditating really helped. But um, anyway, so I, so I came after antidepressants. I came after them very, very quickly. Dangerously, dangerously fast. You're supposed to take weeks or months to... Um, I don't even shake the heat. Nails it, I don't even shake the heat. I don't, I don't do anything. Uh, it's supposed to take weeks or months to come off them. I, I, I came off them in about a week. I went. I, I said to Lynn, uh, "I'm. I'm. I think I'm going to come off these antidepressants. I'm going to come off the pills." She went, "What do you want to fucking do that for? You, you, you said you've never been happier. You know, you've completely changed." And I says, "I know, but." They're kind of no working, so... Aye, but they'll, they'll work again. I said, I don't... I just don't want it. I, I just... She said, all right, I mean... I just think it's a stupid... She says, I just think it's a stupid... Idea. You said you'd never felt better. I knew you wanted to come after them. I know it's fucking ten, all right? She says, I think it's a, a stupid idea. I went, aye, aye, maybe you're right. And then I had to be think about it and I thought, no, fuck it. I thought to myself, I'm not going to go to the doctor. This is me. This is a dangerous thing, right? I'm not going to go to the doctor and ask permission. I'm not going to ask permission after Lynn. That's been one of my main fucking problems. Near assertiveness. There's things I want to do and I don't do it in case it upsets somebody or they disapprove it. There's things I, I don't want to do, but I do it because somebody else might want it or it's the done thing to do. Like if I said to the doctor, um, I'm thinking of coming off the pills, but I want to come off them kind of quickly. Oh, I wouldn't advise it. You know, like that. How's about I do what I fucking want? Come what fucking me. That's what I feel like. I'm just that, I'm, I'm just that mad sort of cunt. I thought... Could this be as bad as a really bad hangover or a cum I think I could honour it. Very dangerous. Very dangerous, but I just smell like that. Right, fuck it. I've not got any work on right now. It was just, I was writing the Christmas special for Lemmy Show 2013, right? And it was uh, September. I went, right, if this... If this all goes really, really bad, I'll be able to just curl up in fucking bed and no day in, right? So I'm alright with that. I came off it. 
Thank you. Thank you very much. I'm Chun eighty nine. Thanks for the sub. McHunt. Oh, sorry, because I've got it on caps. I'm McHunt. Thanks. Oh, I'm a cunt. I'm a cunt. Right, I get it. Um. Now I came off. I half the dose for three days and then doing a quarter of the dose for another three days and then <laughs> that was it. I was fine for about a week and then I started getting these fucking dizzy spells, felt sick, moving my eyes just like this look made me feel seasick. It made me feel like I'd been in a motor looking at my phone for too long and I was like, oh, oh for fuck's sake. Brain zaps as well as they call it, this kind of feeling. You know, like fucking, I almost felt like, you know, like if you're kind of half asleep and you're having a dream and you're dreaming you're standing on a fucking football, you're actually balancing on a football and then you fall and you're like that, that, but just, you're no falling asleep, just kind of. that especially lying in bed thank you thank you very much uh is e57 oh and i don't know if that's meant to be something but thank you very much for the sub um and then that eventually went away eventually and then and then Almost Easton, Easton, right? Um, I started to, I started to feel myself think again. That's what it felt like. I started to feel myself think. I was in the shower and I noticed I wasn't as happy anymore. I was like this again, but I was thinking. I was like thinking of things. I was in the shower and I was like thinking to myself things that. How 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 would you how would you make a shower? How's this shower work anyway? How do you make a shower? What would be a good way to make a shower? I wonder if there's a way to make a shower like a better type of shower. That like kinda of invent inventing like, like a kinda of Dyson sort of shower. I wonder what's this? What's that? Why is this? Why is that? And then a lot of shit all the stuff kinda of coming back into my head that used to be there that I completely forgot about because I'd been on antidepressants that I can't remember, but maybe six months or something maybe it was four months maybe it was eight months i can't remember maybe it was a whole year i don't know but uh, i had dyson shower but um i noticed all these thoughts coming back in my mind and i thought fuck that's right that again try to work things out try to work things out that didn't need to get worked out or things that didn't make sense but i'd think them anyway like we half finished thoughts, thoughts, thoughts. But how long did it take you ever wank? Back back down to five minutes. Um Thank you. Oh Pale Balverine, thank you very much for the sub. Um But I was meditating every morning after that, really looking after myself. I was cycling all the time. Or the, the big, the big three: exercise, sleep, and diet. I don't mean dieting as in no eating much. Oh, so sorry, I didn't mean that. I, you know, eyes, sleep, and diet. Had, uh, so I mean, we think about the exercise and sleep. So it's them, but sleep in particular. The exercise and sleep. And then if you think about 
there's your life and there's, e there's the exercise. So you try to, try to fit that in. Try to fit that in. And into your life. I was cycling all the time. I wasn't eating a lot of sugary shit anymore. And I was I was uh, getting lots of sleep. Right? The big three. The big three. The big three. So the big three. The big three. I think exercise is really important. So that's kind of separate for the rest. And then exercise, uh, thank you, uh, uh, sleep and, and, and diet. Um, Tail the nut, thank you very much for the, the sub. So I did, um, so I, so I did that and I was fine. Oh no, I stopped drinking, I stopped drinking in uh, 2004. I stopped drinking like 10 years before or that. But, just eventually all kind of whatever it was that was leading me to drink that much still fucking lingering. It's still there. I still want to drink. Thank you very much, Calvin. I still want to drink. I still want to drink even to this day. Uh, I so I was alright for a few years. I just kept in mind how I felt on antidepressants and I tried to copy it. I thought, you'll never feel that good again because it was fucking, it was really, really, I really, really liked it. I really liked the pills. But I thought, try and be what you were like on the pills. Remember how happy you were. Just, the things you were thinking about. And I just, and I could, I could almost sort of get it. But, um, I've never, I've not been able to be as happy as what I was on the pills. And I have recently kind of taken a dip in the mental health stuff in the last year or so and I had to go to the doctors again and say that I don't know, maybe I've got ADHD or something like that and it's maybe leading to these behaviours or something. I don't know what it is. I, I, I bored them. I bored them that led to the drinking. Um, bored them in my fucking life. Fidgety, no fucking happy, no be able to concentrate, things that are... Um, nobody would concentrate on certain things. My concentration lapsed in my conversations, and my God, what was that? What's that? But avoiding certain responsibilities because I can't really quite work out what's going on, and all sort of piling up and all that. And I went recently to a mental health person who then said I don't that I might ha might have it, maybe maybe no, and it was up to me if I wanted to take it further, and and, and I just thought, oh, no, it's fine. I just say it's fine. If you're like that and you're not like, oh, I'm pretty sure you've got it, you know, but I think I'm going to put you, uh, go and check out. I just, ah, it's fine. 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 I'm, pr I'm pretty sure I've got something. Pretty sure. But at the end of the day, doesn't it quite matter. Because I'm going to take anything for it. I'm not going to take uh, whatever the fuck it is, Ritalin, one of the kind of infetamine sort of things. I just know what I'm like. Anyway, it's not old age. I've been I've been like this for quite a fucking while. It's kinda like old age old age forbidden three oh three because see when I was when I was working in a web company, I was all excited about things and I was working lots and I was doing a lot um I was happy to do all nighters working away. I was quite um optimistic about things and excited about things and then just as years have went on I'm like Fuck, it's a lot of fucking shit. All the good films, I've seen them all. Good tele programs and um, music. Can I think of what the fuck I'm into right now? Other than shit. There's all that because I just heard it all, seen it all, and I don't want to take it anymore. I've not taken pills, ekies for like nine years or something, and. I know I've not taken anything, not taken anything for about nine years. No drank for um, 14 years. So I'm just like, you'd want to read books, says Sam Black Pride. Hey, um, what do you mean, you'd want to read books? What does that fucking mean? So just, just dead, dead bored. 
Dead board. That's why I like doing this. So I like I like yapping away and uh, playing games and stuff like that. So I like I like doing this. I still have non-alcoholic beers and all that. Anyway, so I just thought I'd talk about this for uh, men's uh, uh, me, me, International Men's Day. So if if um, if there's a a takeaway. For this, a takeaway, that's what they say these days. What's your takeaway from that? Uh, I would just say to all you men and our other SDs, if you think there's something wrong with you, go to the doctor and tell your doctor. If you think your doctor's a lot of fucking shite, Go to another doctor. If you think there's something up with you and you're not getting help, you're stupid. You're stupid cunt. You're stupid cunt. Because one thing that people talk about is uh, kind of like men, um, men wanting to know, show kind of weakness and. Um, you can I especially imagine some men who have maybe said things to other men on Twitter about depression being a lot of shit or anxiety or man, you know man up and all that part. Then about a year later, they start to feel um, themselves feel like that. But they've they've said too many. They've they've said they've said all the kind of. They've slagged off people like that before. Now they've found out they're one of them. And you're thinking, oh, what am I going to do? And you're thinking, what am I going to do? And or you're just thinking, how do, I, how do I go about this? How do I go about it? Maybe it's been put into your head. Um, maybe it's been put into your head to... Um, this all sort of man up thing and all that, but I was actually thinking uh, this morning before uh, before uh, coming on here, I was thinking a fantastic catchphrase that I've got. What's that? It's at the fucking door. Oh my God, the door. Uh, I was thinking, uh, thinking of this, thinking of this one. You'll get, you'll get guys that say man up. Forget about that. I think what's more important than manning up is making sure you're no a man done. Instead of, you know, all that man up stuff, what's actually important is to make sure you're not a man done. Do you know what I mean? Because you see, what's so, the, he's absolutely love that one. The, the, the chat's gone wild now. The chat's gone fucking wild. Now, what's so genius and clever about that that I just came up with is... Man, you're a man down, so it's a man thing, right? Man down, like, um, a man down, down meaning, like, sort of, like, depression and, you know, down. Don't be a man down, like that. But also, man down, you know, like, in Call of Duty and things like that, uh, Thank you. Jellyfish, thank you so much for the subscription. You probably subscribed because of that cracking part there. Thank you very much. Man down means I'm a, a guy's. You're you're a, you're a guy done. You're a man done. You've, t you've uh, did. We're a man down. Man down. That's when a guy's been shot. You know you're you're. Man, you know like fighting looks like macho. So it helps it helps men and all that. You know. You know, like you know, like shaving. You know, like uh, skin care for men. It's not like, um, beauty. It's no beauty and all that. It's protect, protect your skin. 
protect your skin with the most powerful moisturiser in the moisturiser in the market. Protect your skin, defence, extreme defence. <coughs> no guys need that. Protect your skin. Protect the moisture on your skin with this bulletproof moisturiser. Put up a strong barrier, extreme defence against ageing. New Gillette extreme defence against ageing process. Process. Don't forget men tissues. Get new Kleenex for men. Extreme protection for your nose. Don't let tough, rough tissue paper rub against Rub away the skin defence for your body. Use Andrex Aloe Vera for extreme protection against roughness. So um so that and apply that to the mental health and suicide sort of thing instead of uh and instead of so instead of like uh, so need need to find out exactly what to say. Forget about the man up thing. Forget about man up. Just don't be a man down. Get yourself to the doctor. Well, okay, this is what you do, lads, if you're thinking, how do, how do I do it? How do I do it? You walk into the doctor. Now, let's say, let's say your, your pals are assholes or, and all that. Maybe you're, maybe you yourself, you're an asshole. How do you get mental health help if you yourself can't get past the fact that you're an asshole, how do you fucking, how do you manoeuvre your way around yourself? How do you see it? How do you get it? Thank you. Deity Dread, thanks for the sub. How do you do it? How do you do it? How do you see yourself, like, just, just remember. Um, just remember, if you're thinking, if you're thinking, if you're, if you're a guy and you've got a thing about strength and no being weak, then um, uh, maybe this will help you. Maybe this will sort of counter this in your head, your programming. Uh, just remember that if there's something wrong with you, for whatever reason, whatever it is, if you're not getting help for that, that means you're not looking after yourself that means you you are at a weakness because you're not getting yourself sorted out. Your pride or whatever it is, fear. That's that's your weakness. It's not the thing that you need to help for. It, you preventing yourself from getting help. That's your weakness. That's your fucking. That's your weak spot. That's your weakness. No, the, the mental health stuff, that's your weakness. 
that's what you've got to overcome. We voice in your head, stopping you, ashamed of it, maybe laughing at you, laughing at yourself. You think you're fucking pathetic or something Thank like that. You. Maybe you've slagged people off like that before and knew you're having to do it. How do you do it? Um, well, you just need to um, uh, overcome that. Or like I said before, it's stupid. It's stupid. It's stupid. It's like somebody in a war, like this will talk to all the men. Imagine you're in like a... What did I say? Uh, Stuskiv. Stuskiv. Uh, thanks for the sub. Sorry that I missed you there. Um, uh, you need to just just look into it. Look into it. You're looking after yourself. You're looking after yourself. If you care, but another fucking man thinks of you because of what's what you're having to battle, battle, battle with yourself in your head. Biggest enemy you're ever gonna fucking face is yourself, man, in your head. <laughs> Toughest fucking guy you know is in there, man. So much fucking shit in your head, you know what I mean? It's not there. It's not all that. It's not. All, it's not all that you kind of cope with. It's not all that. It's how you deal with it in there that you, that, that, that's fucking up. It's not all these cunts. You could take all of them. It's how you deal with in here. That's it's, it's it's you. You might get a guy come up to you and go like, that. "Man up." What they don't know though, what they haven't got, is they haven't got the hardest fucking cunt in the fucking world up against them, like you have. Because you've got up against you. You, the hardest cunt you fucking know. The hardest cunt you fucking know is in your fucking head, stopping you. So you've got you on one side, you on another side. It's just gonna fucking wear the two just fucking done. So you need to be the smarter one, the more clever one, and get a wee bit of fucking help. Like that's intelligence, you know, like in a in, in a war. Intelligence. Was it no uh sun sun uh two zoo sun thingy a war is won before it's even best wars are won before it's even started. Um, Sun Tzu The Art of War It's not just about going in there With as many fucking guns And in spears and all that as you can Military intelligence Got to work it out Got to work it out So you're going away you're looking at forums and all that. You got to go away to, away to the doctor, and you're getting you're getting military fucking intelligence. Military intelligence, lads. I need help in working this fucking thing out. All right, you ain't for your boy. Conquer yourself. No, these cunts. No, your, no, your pals. Cause I fuck about them. No, the cunt in your work. Or oh, this cunt. Or some guy in fucking internet. He'll fuck all compared to you, mate. You're up against a real man. You. Take me for example. 
So you're thinking to yourself, do you know, I can't cope with being a da. It's dead hard. It's dead hard. And a wee voice in your head saying, but you don't fucking do it. How is that hard? Cunts died in fucking wars. And you're gone like that. It's too hard. It's too hard. Look, mate. Nobody fucking doubts the fact that... Nobody doubts that if you put you in a war situation with a fucking rifle in your hand, mate, you'd be fucking first there, there. You'd be first there, the fucking top line. Oh. Nobody doubts that. Nobody doubts that, man. Right, that's simple. You'd be like, oh, man, come on, come on, man. Nobody doubts that. But you're having to deal with stuff that maybe you were never meant for. Maybe you were all, maybe you were built to be a warrior. Maybe you were built to be a warrior. <laughs> Swinging a fucking sword about and all that, with a fucking gun like that. that. That's what you're fucking built for. But that's not happening anymore, mate. It's not happening and we don't need it as much as what we used to. So now you're... Hey, day Bringing up a fucking Wayne. Having conversations with people you're not interested in. Money stuff. Work stuff. It's complicated. It's not fucking... It's not complicated. So you, you're needing to go and get some help to sort that out because you're a fucking warrior. Do you know what I mean? Just going to the doctor and go, I'll tell you what it is, doctor. I'm, I've got the, like the warrior gene. I've got the warrior gene. Thank you very much, Cam's daddy. See, I've not got this sorted out yet. I'll get it sorted out. Nothing worse than your eyes are for you. Cheers, mate. Cheers. Uh, 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 Larry for Scythe. Go into the doctor and go, I'll tell you what it is, doctor. I'm, I'm actually a warrior. I was meant to be a Viking clansman samurai Maori Native American, uh, Zulu, um, 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 one of them, a warrior. It's in, it's in there. Navy SEAL, aye. Gladiator, aye. I, I was meant to be, I was meant to be one of them. Obviously, we've moved on, but my genetics haven't moved on. Now all of this doesn't fit with my mind. Doesn't fit with my mind. Now, there's other cunts like me that have not got the boys to come in here and do something about it. They're too shy. They're too shy and embarrassed. And see me, mate. This is what you're going to say to the doctor. See me. See me. I, I, I'm. I'm shy and I'm embarrassed and I'm nervous. But by feeling that fear 
and doing it anyway. And knowing there's a possibility of shame and embarrassment, but doing it anyway, makes me the bravest warrior in this doctor's surgery, this medical centre. Am I right? And see if the doctor doesn't say to you, you're fucking right, you're no wrong. If he doesn't say that, go like that. I want a fucking second opinion. This cunt's useless. And say that even if there's nobody else in the room, go like that. This cunt's useless. This cunt's useless. Don't say cunt, you'll get, you, there's a zero tolerance. Um, thank you. Oh, look at that, look, that's worked fine. That was a very long name. Guitar. Guitar tabs and techniques. Thank you very much for the sub. I was told there's a 15 character limit. One, two, three, f uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, five. Much more than 15. That's a, that was a long, long name, that. But it still worked. Brilliant, very good. But I just want to say one last thing. I just want to say one last thing, and it's this. Um, all joking aside, for the, the warrior stuff and all that, um, I just want to say this. It, it's also very important to know, care. Uh, obviously, I'm joking. I don't know how many. I don't know how many yous watching actually are like that that I just said there. Um, because you you watch my stuff, so or, already you're. You're the sort of person who's interested in a kind of new, new, new man. Already you've been influenced. And already you yourself are a new man and you have been attracted to another new man. Because you sound yourself with the people that you recognise in yourself. Um, so I don't know how, how much I need to say things that you don't already know. But, um, but, it's also important to, to not be strong. It's also important to, to know, not be strong. Right? It's also important to know, not be strong. Right? Okay. Alright? It's also important to not be strong. Sometimes it's important to just switch off all that shame. It's just important to just switch off it. Okay. All right. Sometimes it's important. It's not. It's important not to be strong. Sometimes it's important not not to be strong. Are you greeting? No, I've been up since half twelve. Might as well. Lynn said, "Is this bit's looking greasy?" That there. She went like that, but I think it's because I've been putting this moisturiser on and then it goes in my hair. Yeah. I don't know what's it anyway. Um, gorgeous blues, blue eyes, yeah. It's important to know be strong. It's important, it's important to know be strong. Important to know be strong. Be strong. And, and important to know be strong sometimes. <laughs> sometimes it's important to know be strong. Just walk into the doctors, walk into the doctors and just say, I'm not strong. We'll just know. 
and I need your help to make me strong again. You can make me strong again. You can make me strong again. Well, Doctor, you've got to help me. I've been thinking about talking to myself. I've got a son, but that doesn't stop me. <laughs> you can make me strong again. Doctor, you've got to help me. I've probably got about a week to live before I fucking put a rope round my fucking neck. <laughs> right. <laughs> um. Well, thank you very much. This has went on a wee bit. It was only going to take 15 minutes. Um, but... Um, Uh, definitely go and get help if you need help definitely look into it look things up and uh, uh, and take care of yourself it's very very important to no listen to any sort of negative sort of carry on that people say because people are full of fucking shite people are full of fucking shite people come on here and they talk utter shite very important to no listen to people people don't know what they're talking about you just know what's right for you you just know you got to step away all the shite that's trying to get in the way of you getting what you need to make yourself feel better. People giving you bad advice, people saying why you shouldn't get help, and things like that. Voice, a voice in your head, your upbringing, whatever it is. like that right everybody um, I'll probably be back on in just a minute with Euro Truck Simulator 2 and then later on maybe the night or something what is this oh <gasps> Oh my god. I'm late for a fucking meeting and I'm no joking. I'm late for a bastard and fucking meeting. I kid you not. I'm late for a fucking meeting at the, the fucking BBC. Jesus fucking Christ. Right everybody else, I'm going to, I'm going to have to phone the fucking guy. Oh my god. I'm no joking. I'm no, I've just fucking looked at it there. There it is. Jesus fucking Christ. Right troops. I'll see you later. I'm no joking. I'm no joking. Oh my god. Right, we'll see you later.